Hey everyone, welcome back. So I wanted to share with you a good news that I have cleared the AWS Solutions Architect Associate Level exam with about two months of preparation while working full time. In this exam, I have scored 962 out of 1000, which is considered a really good score. So in today's video, I'll be sharing everything about this exam, uh, my preparation strategies as well as tips. So if you're planning on taking this exam anytime soon, then make sure you stick around till the end of this video. First, let's address the elephant in the room. What the heck is AWS Solutions Architect Associate Level Exam? With the rise of cloud computing, companies have constantly been shifting from running their infrastructure on-premise, which is difficult to manage, to running them on cloud, which offers far more elasticity in terms of scaling as well as resiliency in case a disaster strikes. So the AWS Solutions Architect Associate Certification validates your ability to design and deploy well-architected solutions on AWS, which is the leading cloud provider today. In simple terms, this exam tests your ability to propose an architecture given a specific scenario. For example, a company wants their application to continue running even if a disaster strikes and an entire AWS region is down where the application was being hosted. So how would you design their infrastructure around this use case? Next, let's look at the exam format. On the exam, you'll get 65 questions and 130 minutes to answer them. So you'll get about two minutes per question. The grading or scoring is percentile based and varies from 100 to 1000. And you need to score 720 plus in order to pass this exam. So you can approximate it to roughly 72%, uh, which basically means you need to answer 72% of your questions, of the total questions right, in order to pass this exam. Also, as long as you pass the exam, your score doesn't really matter. The score will only be available on your score report and not on the actual certificate. The cost of taking this exam is 150 US dollars and with taxes, it comes out to about 177 US dollars, which in India uh, is, is about 13.5K Indian rupees. By the way, if you're finding value out of this video, kindly press the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps my videos reach more people and motivates me to keep making videos like this. Now let's take a look at my preparation strategy. I prepared for about two months while having a full-time job and while running this YouTube channel where I post resourceful videos every single week. So during this two month preparatory period, I was able to study for uh, roughly two hours on weekdays and about four to six hours on weekends. For preparation, I took the AWS Solutions Architect Associate course by Stephen Marek on Udemy. And while going through this course, I was just dumping all of the uh, relevant information that I was finding in this course into a Notion page. Once I was done with the course, I bought three practice test packages on Udemy, which were offered by Stephen Marek, John Bonzo and Neil Davis. Each package has six practice tests. So three packages meant uh, 18 practice tests. And apart from these, you also get a free practice test with the course. For every test that I gave, I dumped the questions along with their explanations in a Notion page uh, for the questions that I marked wrong or those uh, that I found difficult to answer. At the end, I consolidated all of the dumped information from course and practice tests into dense concise notes that instead of Notion, I took using another note taking app called Obsidian. I'll explain why in another video, but for the sake of AWS exams, uh, you can take uh, these notes anywhere. And once I had these concise notes ready, I just revised them once and gave the exam the very next day. If you want my notes, then you'll have to wait for some time until I figure out a way to share my Obsidian notes in a presentable format. Next, what are the available options for taking this test? Now, you can either take this test offline at a testing center or online at the comfort of your home. I would suggest you to take the test offline if you have testing centers near your locality. If not, then you can take the online route. I had to take this test online because there are no testing centers available in my city. And in my experience, the proctoring process in the online method is extremely strict. And as far as I know, if the proctor cancels your exam, then you won't get a refund. You'll have to rebook and retake the test. Now, here are some tips to ensure that you're well prepared for this exam. Take as many practice tests as you can. They'll give you an idea of the kind of topics that come up in the exam most often. Also, the questions on these practice tests match very well with the actual exam. At last, 
the amount of information that you will have to go through to prepare for this exam is enormous. You not only need a good understanding of the various AWS resources and architectures, but you'll also have to remember a lot of information. So filtering out the irrelevant details from the dumped information and making concise notes that you can easily revise within one or two days is crucial for this exam. So that was all about the AWS Solutions Architect Associate exam. Up next, I have plans to take the AWS Developer Associate exam, which focuses on the development around AWS services. And as a personal milestone, I want to clear that exam before I move to Canada for my MS. So definitely stay tuned for that. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you later.